What's good guys? I hope you're all doing super well today and having a fantastic week so far. I'm really excited to bring you this month's instalment of Inspired. I've got five fantastic posts for you in July that are really going to help you use LinkedIn more effectively. So without further ado, let's jump into this one. First up, we have the main man himself, Richard van der Blom, and as usual, he's been doing some fantastic research into the LinkedIn algorithm. Richard has found that LinkedIn is still punishing creators for using external links. This is something that's very surprising given the fact that this is a platform that we try to use for lead generation. But there is some good news when it comes to the algorithm, and that's if you use polls. If you've not used polls on LinkedIn yet, I highly recommend you include them in your overall posting strategy. The reason for this is they're a brilliant way to start a conversation. They bring your audience into your content and they allow them to engage and interact on it. And they have fantastic reach. The reach potential on polls is huge. Next up is a really great tip and post from Rachel Simon. Have you ever connected with someone in the past but have been unable to see their profile image? This is almost certainly because they have their profile image set to be visible to first degree connections only. This is really bad guys. If you want to build connections and start generating relationships on LinkedIn, people need to be able to see you. I know that sounds obvious, but the amount of people who fall for this is huge. And it's really easy to fix. All you need to do is click on your photo in your profile and go down to settings and make sure your photo is displayed as public. If it's not displayed as public, that means there'll be certain people who connect with you who will not be able to see your profile image. As we know, when it comes to personal branding on LinkedIn, your image is really important. A great profile header, a fantastic headline, and a quality profile image are so important. Next up is a fantastic post from Alex B. Sheridan, who comments on the value of learning from the big dogs on this platform. There's plenty of people on this platform who have a very big following, and there's a great reason for it. They're quality content makers who produce consistent, helpful content to their audience. They're innovators, they're not afraid to experiment and try new things, test the algorithm, push the platform to the next stages. You can learn a great amount of information and value from following and engaging with these people. Yes, they might be big, they might be sky high in comparison to you, but allow them to show you the ropes, allow them to show you the ways in which you can use this platform effectively. This is one of the main reasons why we do Inspired. It's a great way for us and others to learn from people who are influential on LinkedIn. Next up is a fantastic tip from Inspired regular John Asperian. Now, many of us know that you're able to direct message people you're connected to, but did you know you can actually DM people you're not connected to? This is something that I didn't know and now I do thanks to John. John has listed in his post the many ways that you can engage with people through a direct message who you're not connected to. But for me, one of the standout ones is someone who's attending the same event as you. As the world begins to open up, we're going back to networking events. We're going back to spaces where we're going to interact with like-minded people and that hope of growing and developing a prosperous relationship down the line. If you can start communicating with people who are going to be at the same space before the event happens, that's such a good way to book in a meeting, grab a coffee, start that conversation prior to that event. I think this is a really, really useful tip and something that you guys should seriously incorporate into your marketing strategy. And following on nicely from the previous post is our final entry at Inspired this month, and it's from Andy Bounds. Andy comments on the importance of communication, which we all know communication is essential. It's so important in business as it is in life. But nowadays with technology, the pandemic, everything that's going on, communication can actually be very complicated. And Andy's post actually comments on some Microsoft research in which they found that the number one cause of stress in UK workplaces is poor communication. So how can we rectify it? Well, firstly, as this world starts to open up, we can start having more conversations maybe over the telephone or in person rather than on video camera. We're not designed to be on show 24 seven. So having that intimate relationship with someone, you know, in an office setting over a coffee is a great way to build a foundation of a good relationship and keep that communication going. And the thing that he says in his post I absolutely love is about communicating with empathy. Things are tough right now. You know, the last 18 months have been very difficult for everyone. People are burnt out, people are stressed. So actually 
embracing conversation with people in an empathetic, constructive and helpful manner is a brilliant way of actually progressing a relationship, keeping things moving in the right direction. You can apply this to a workplace setting, you can apply this to your usage of LinkedIn, the way you interact with your users. All of these things are just a great way to keep people communicating in a positive and empathetic manner. And that concludes Inspired for this month, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below what your favorite tip of this month is. And if you've learned anything else on LinkedIn that's really helpful, please drop it below, we'd love to know. And as always, please ensure you follow our hashtag FinallyEngineRoom. Every single day there is new content that goes onto that hashtag that will help you use your digital marketing more effectively. It's completely tailored to the manufacturing and engineering sector, but there's tons that you can learn on there, even if you're not involved in those spaces. I highly encourage you to give it a follow. That's all from me, guys. I hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy the rest of this month. I'll catch you next time. I'm out. See you later.